innovations, homes, innovations, homes, innovations. Yeah, yeah, no need to worry about your coping skills. Dealing with emotions is very real. Being sad, angry, frustrated, annoyed. When you want to shout and scream, and get to making some noise. When you want to get away, you should be like me. Home innovation is the place to be. One, two, three. Hey there, students. My name is Miss Francie, and today in our group, we're going to be talking about anger. Anger is one of those emotions that we all feel every once in a while. Sometimes we feel angry because we feel like someone did something that hurt our feelings, or we don't feel, or we feel upset at a situation, like we can't go outside, where there's so many new rules in school. Sometimes we feel angry at ourselves, like because we did, we feel like we did something wrong. So today, to go over when we feel angry and to go over strategies for us to feel better, we're gonna watch some clips. And these clips are of some pigs, Osa and Leona. Osa is the black pig and Leona is the orange and black pig. These are pigs that I raised and they started off really small and then they got humongous to about 400 pounds each. That's so big. So Osa and Leona sure got angry a lot of times, but they also can teach us about how to get back on track, how to feel better, apologize if we need to, and things like that. So let's watch a few of these clips. This first clip is a video of Osa and Leona getting in a bit of a fight. Let's watch. Osa was sleeping under Leona, and Leona got angry, and they started scuffling. You can see that they're nipping at each other, and they're physically fighting. Now, that's no good, right? We don't want to be doing that. We want to make sure that we're safe with our bodies, but sometimes when we're feeling angry, we sure do feel like using our bodies in not the right way. Here's a video of Leona running up towards Osa. She's like not in control of her body. Sometimes when we're angry, we feel like we cannot control our bodies at all. Here's a video of them getting upset at each other over food. And here's a video of Osa getting upset okay? because she had a thing on her head. You okay? And here's a video of Osa in the snow and she's pretty cold and miserable. And she's getting kind of angry at me. And lastly, here's a video. They do not want to share this toy, and so they're running around with it. What's important to note is that piggies sometimes get angry at each other just like how humans do. Sometimes they don't want to share food or toys. Sometimes they get angry at their owners because they feel like their owner did something bad. Sometimes they get angry at themselves. But here's the thing. The first thing we want to remember is that we can always apologize if we hurt someone's feelings. This is a video of Leona getting upset at me. She squealed at me and she wasn't very nice. So here's a video of her coming back towards me and saying in her way by shaking her tail and smiling at me that she was sorry. Here's a video of Osa and Leona kissing each other. That's their way of apologizing to each other in their pig way. And here's a video of Osa and Leona holding hands. They hold hands, and that was their way of saying, hey, I'm sorry for being mean. Even if you get with a, in a fight with a friend, you can still be friends with them. Fights don't mean that you can't be friends with that person anymore. It just means that you had a miscommunication. Maybe you got in a fight because you didn't understand what the other person wanted or you felt upset at them for making a certain decision. But the great thing is, is that if friends talk it out, and if people make apologies if needed, then you can still be friends. So it's important to realize that you don't have to give up friendships even if you get angry at each other every once in a while. Just apologize, and that can help bring the friendship back to where it was. Now we're going to watch some videos of Osa and Leona, and they're going to teach us some strategies for how we can manage when we're angry. 
Everyone gets angry at some point in their life. It's just a part of how life works. Just like how sometimes people get joyful, sometimes people get silly, sometimes people get sad, or sometimes people get happy. We all get angry, and that's not a problem. But what we want to make sure that we do is if we're angry, we find ways to feel better and feel better as soon as possible so that we don't feel bad. We also want to make sure that we stay safe, we don't hurt others or ourselves, and that we say sorry if we do. So let's see what some strategies are. So here's our first strategy. If we're feeling angry, we want to follow directions from an adult in charge. This is important so that we stay safe and that we allow someone else to help us stay calm. So look, I just called Leona's name and here she comes running towards me. Here she comes. That's important. Also in this video, I'm asking Leona to sit and I'm telling her to sit and I'm the adult in charge and she follows my directions. Our next strategy is if we're feeling upset, we can ask for help for help from an adult in charge. Now, if you missed it, in this video, there's a dog in the pen with the pigs, and the pigs are not happy to see this dog. So they're kind of scared and a little bit angry that the dog is in their pen. The dog's name is Charlie, by the way. So the pigs are getting angry, and they run towards me. If you're feeling angry, this is our next strategy. You could ask for help from an adult in charge. See, Leona, she's standing in between my legs for protection. So she's asking for help for me to make sure she stays safe and the dog doesn't come near her. Here's another video of the pigs running towards me because they want help. If you're feeling angry and you feel like you can't solve the problem on your own, you can ask a teacher for help. Here's a video of Osa going back into her house. She got angry about something that I did, and so she ended up going back into her house to take a break. Breaks are awesome if you're feeling angry. If you're in class and something happens and you need to take a break, you could ask a teacher to put your head down on your desk or to take a break in another way. Also, if you want to take a break, you could take a short rest Here's a video of Osa taking a quick nap. You might not be able to take a nap, but you might be able to relax for a few minutes if you're feeling particularly angry. The next one is that you could go for a walk with an adult. If you're feeling upset or angry and you need to cool off, going outside and going for a short walk can oftentimes be a great strategy for cooling down. <laughs> Look at this, this is so silly. The pigs ran outside into the yard. So if you're feeling angry, you could also try playing a game with others or getting some exercise. Getting exercise is a really great way to get out all the energy that you have when you're feeling angry. The next strategy is you could ask for a hug from someone at home or a virtual high five from a teacher. So if you're feeling angry and you need to have a hug or you need to feel like a teacher is there for you, you could ask for a high five or a hug to feel better. Here's me and Osa hugging. Pigs love hugs, by the way. This is a fun strategy. If you're feeling really angry, you might feel really warm and really hot. So if you're at home, you could take a quick cold shower, or if you're somewhere else, you could run your hands under cool water and even maybe splash your face just a tiny bit. Look at Osa running around in the sprinkler, so funny. <laughs> Another strategy is you're, if you're feeling angry is you can drink some water. Water can be a great way to cool off your insides. 
Another option is to eat a healthy snack if you're feeling angry. That might help. Maybe you were feeling angry because really you were hungry. That happens to me sometimes. Another option is you could find a friend to talk to if you're feeling angry and share about what's making you upset. They might have a strategy to help. This is one of my favorites and I think it's the most important. If you're feeling angry, the first thing you should do is you should breathe deeply. Like, this will calm your body the quickest and it's the best way to get back into the calm green zone. This is my favorite. If you're feeling angry, you're probably frowning or you look really grumpy and tense. What you could try doing is try smiling and think about this video of Leona smiling while she's getting pet. So now that you've learned these strategies, pause the video on the next slide and talk about what you might do if you were feeling angry and if any of these little clips helped you. Students, I'd love to hear what strategies you like and which ones you think you might do in your life. Here's the list. Pause, innovations, pause, innovations, pause, innovations. Yeah, yeah, no need to worry about your coping skills. Dealing with emotions is very real. Being sad, angry, frustrated, annoyed. When you want to shout and scream, you get to make some noise. When you want to get away, you should be like me. Home innovation is the place to be. One, two, three.